Michael J. Fox, Hollywood star and Parkinson's victim, has his answer. I, I, I find it frustrating that the president will use his first veto of his time in office to, to thwart this, this research. It just seems uh, a shame to me. Babies and toddlers in the East Room of the White House. What's going on? These children are part of the stagecraft for one of the most controversial acts of this administration. They would not be alive today if the embryos from which they have grown had been used for medical research. That is the powerful image with which George Bush underpinned the first veto of his presidency. These boys and girls are not spare parts. They remind us... They remind us of what is lost when embryos are destroyed in the name of research. They remind us that we all begin our lives as a small collection of cells. And they remind us that in our zeal for new treatments and cures, America must never abandon our fundamental morals. But if one-year-old Trey grows up with diabetes or Parkinson's, and if stem cell research can muster a cure, what would his parents say then? Michael J. Fox, Hollywood star and Parkinson's victim, has his answer. I, I, I find it frustrating that the president will use his first veto of his time in office to, to thwart this, this research. It just seems uh, a shame to me. 400,000 spare embryos left over from IVF treatment and frozen. Only a fraction are adopted. Many more are destroyed anyway. The scientific community wants to put them to better use. Most people would agree that eggs fertilized in a dish outside of a woman's womb through, our, our, uh, through uh, in vitro fertilization and which will be discarded uh, do not have the same moral standing as a 12-year-old child with juvenile diabetes. So the president has used his precious veto to get rid of a law that is supported by a majority in Congress and by a majority of the American people. To him and his supporters, it is a matter of faith to the rest, it is a principle of common sense. Matt Fry, DBC News, Washington.